I've already gotten a lot of feedback asking me to show you guys exactly how to go ahead and sacrifice some of these tokens that I'm going to be sacrificing in order to receive some Pulse X whenever the sacrifice is over, as well as whenever Pulse X actually goes live. So here we go. This video is going to show you that it's going to be a very quick one, uh, but you do need to know some basics and the essential basics are how to operate and use your MetaMask wallet. And if you don't know that, I do have another video that I'll be linking down in the description that shows that. So with that said, let's jump right into it. on everybody welcome to rng crypto it's your boy here with you for another video and in this video as mentioned i am going to show you quickly how to go about actually sacrificing tokens for the pulse x sacrifice phase you already know my game plan based on my previous video so i'm only going to sacrifice a little bit just to give you an example and show you exactly how to go about doing that but before we get started i gotta hit you with my disclaimer guys i am not a financial advisor anything i say to should not be taken as such please make sure you are always doing your own due diligence and research before investing any money with that said let's jump into to it and i'm already again on their website and you can see from yesterday until today there's been another 40 what is that 46 47 million dollars that have been sacrificed in a, less than 24 hours which is incredible uh, but guys my game plan again is going to be hex i'm sacrificing hex tokens because i do anticipate another hex pump so i'm actually going to i'm already dcaing into or dollar cast averaging into hex and trying to take advantage of this current lower price uh, which you can see it's con continuing to dip yesterday we were at about 24 cents right now we're at 20.9 cents uh, so it's continuing to dip which is a great thing uh, for me because i do anticipate this to pump once more prior to the january 10th date because everyone will be buying up hex trying to get in at the highest uh, roi uh, which is one dollar for every ten thousand or uh, ten thousand points for every one dollar i should say and you can see here if we uh, go into the four hour we are currently below the spot 618 on the Fibonacci retracement, which is typically a good area, uh, also a area typically where we see a bounce for the upside. Uh, and it looks like we're uh, getting pretty low here on the RSI. You can see we're down at the 30 uh, for the RSI, which tells me that it's going to get or it's beginning to be oversold uh, and there should be a turnaround in momentum and we should see some upwards momentum coming up. So I am actually dollar cost averaging and I'm going to continue to dollar cost average all the way up until the 8th or 9th of January, at which point then hopefully uh, we can uh, see some gains here on this investment and then actually uh, make more money when we do sacrifice. So what I'm doing now is uh, I need to buy hex. So the first step would be to figure out where can I buy a hex? And I always like to go to Coin Gecko, and I'm gonna go ahead and search hex right here. And that's the first one that popped up. Uh, and we can see here that there are several different uh, networks on which you can buy hex. I'm going to use Ethereum, and you can see here the address is there. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that address. The next spot we need to go to is a decentralized exchange on uh, which we can actually swap for hex. And in this case, it's going to be Uniswap because we're buying on Ethereum, and Uniswap is the dex for Ethereum. And you can see our already have it uh, selected here however I'm gonna go ahead and do it again just to show you the example uh, let me actually refresh this so you can see what it looks like from the start so once you're on Uniswap and I'm going to link this in the description as well uh, you go to select token copy in the address select hex and you can see I'm my trading pair is going to be ETH for hex uh, so I am going to um, buy about a thousand bucks worth of hex right now uh, for 0.3 ETH uh, and go ahead and trade that I want to make sure that my um my slippage is set to auto and nothing higher so that way i'm not wasting money uh, and also make sure that you already are uh, or you're buying at a time where it's not as expensive right now the gas fees are actually quite expensive uh, but for the sake of this video i am gonna bite the bullet on this one and pay uh roughly a hundred dollars in gas fees you're welcome uh, so let me go ahead and hit swap uh, when I hit swap, it's going to take us into MetaMask and you will need a MetaMask wallet in order to do this. So you can see here the gas fees are $141. Oof, that is painful, guys. That is painful. This is a bad time to buy. Normally, I would wait until later at night. So let me actually reject this and let me make this a much lower amount because I really don't want to pay that much gas. So I'm going to put on $150 or $190 worth uh, and let's see what the gas fees uh, turn into using that. We're still at $174. You know what, guys? Let's just pretend I'm buying this because I just cannot bring myself. And this is one of the reasons I am looking forward to Cardano and some of these other layer one blockchains because that's just, I mean, 
I'm, I'm buying $190 worth of hex tokens and I'm paying $170 in gas. That makes no sense. So I'm not going to actually buy this. But imagine me hitting swap, you know, confirming the swap, then going in here and actually hitting confirm. And that would buy me the hex tokens. Once I have the hex tokens, the next step is going into the Pulse X website. You click on sacrifice and then you go down here, click on any of the Pulse X x.info links that will open up a new tab for you and here this is where you will receive your sacrifice address in my case i'm going to connect my metamask just to be sure you can see here yes this is my metamask address so i'm going to hit next and i want to use ethereum because my body i bought my hex on ethereum chain uh, so that's the chain that we need to send to so i'm going to click on ethereum and this is the address here i'm going to go ahead and copy that address then i'm going to go into my metamask at the top right make sure that i'm using the correct account that has the actual let me I need to go ahead and reject that that was a the transaction that we did not do because of the ridiculous gas but anyway so here i've got my hex tokens actually they're not listed here so another thing you'll need to do is actually have the hex uh, added to your metamask and that's really simple to do so i'll go back in here uh, copy the hex address and go into my metamask scroll down and you can see down at the bottom it says import tokens when i click on that click on custom token here at the top and then you're going to copy in or paste in the hex address added import tokens and there it is we have our tokens imported uh, and currently actually i don't have any hex on here i think that's because i bought them on my other wallet which is this wallet so i'm going to go ahead and uh, here you can see there are my hex tokens so i'm going to use this wallet to actually sacrifice uh, so it doesn't matter which wallet you use as long as you have the hex tokens in there the address you're sending to remains the same so let me go ahead and copy this address again go back into my metamask wallet i am going to use this wallet here and go ahead and hit send copy in the address double check right ddc8 ddc8 beginning numbers 0x075 0x075 this is the correct address that i want to send to here you can see send your ether or erc20 to the following address and here on this list down below you can see hex is one of them right here i've got it highlighted there so i can send hex to this address and not worry about that i'm just sending it into the abyss right so that way uh, now that i've got that i'm gonna go ahead and select hex Actually, I'm not going to send Hex. I'm going to send ETH uh, because I don't want to send Hex right now uh, because Hex is uh, I'm waiting on Hex to pump a little bit. So the dollar amount I'm sending in increases. Right. So I bought it low. I'm going to wait for Hex to increase and then send it. Uh, so that way I've bought a thousand Hex, for example. And by the time I'm sending it on the eighth, all of it. Uh, it's hopefully is worth like a 5,500 or maybe even 2,000. You never know uh, what it's going to do, but I do anticipate an increase. So for now, for this example, I'm going to send ETH, which is fine. I can send ETH. I am on Ether. So you can see it says here, it says here, send your Ether or ERC20 token. So I'm going to send ETH. Uh, let's go 0.3, which was the original amount in hex that I wanted to. Actually, no, let's not do that much. 0.05. Oh, not 5. 0.05. Five, uh, 190 bucks off ETH. Go ahead and send that to this address. And that is all you're going to need to do. You can see the gas fee is still pretty high just to send to another wallet. 15 bucks. Normally it's about three or four dollars. So right now there must be either some kind of NFT drop happening or people are just very busy on the network right now uh, because typically gas fees are not this high. Uh, uh, if you're looking at Eastern Standard Time, about 1 or 2 a.m. is a good time to send stuff around and do transactions on Ethereum because uh, it's not as congested. Adjusted, and as a result gas fees are not quite as high but that is all guys that is how you would uh, sacrifice your tokens to the pulse x sacrifice uh, wallet address and there, there are obviously other addresses other networks you can do this on uh, the key is that once you click on sacrifice here on the website once more click on pulse x.info and then you can choose the network so right now if i were to connect and hit next and then go to maybe if i wanted to send on polygon for example this would be the polygon address which happens to be the same address uh, right so let's see if we can find an address that will be different uh, like maybe tron tron is a different address because we're on a tron link uh, uh ethereum or excuse me a trc20 uh network so the the actual address wallet address is very different here uh, so you have all of these different uh, layer one or infrastructure networks on which you can send uh, and sacrifice your tokens so make sure that you are selecting the right one that you have uh, in terms of uh, what token you you know what network your token is on and then you know obviously uh, send the money to that wallet address and that is as simple as that that's exactly how you do it i hope that this was more informative that you are now able to do it yourself again this is not financial advice this is still a risky investment however 
based on present or past performances of Richard Hart's project, uh, we are probably going to be making some hella hella money on this one. With that said, I hope you liked the video. If you liked the content, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace and take it easy. Until next time.